This tutorial will explain how Visual 3D defines the segment coordinate system. To create a segment, a static trial must be loaded into the workspace. In this tutorial, only the right shank segment will be created. First, create a landmark to define the right knee joint center. This landmark will be halfway between the medial and lateral knee targets. The proximal ends of the right shank segment will be defined using the landmark which was just created. The distal ends of the right shank segment will be defined using the lateral and medial ankle targets. Once the segment has been created, the coordinate system is defined at the proximal end of the joint. Although the visual representation of the segment coordinate system can be changed so the coordinate system appears at the proximal end of the segment or the segment center of mass, the segment coordinate system is always defined at the proximal end of the segment. The z-axis is represented in blue, the y-axis in green, and the x-axis in red. Visual 3D first defines the distal proximal axis by finding the midpoint of the distal and proximal ends drawing a vector s between these two points, finding the unit vector of vector s. Visual 3D then defines the AP axis of the segment by drawing vector v from the medial and lateral targets of the segment, taking the cross product of vector v and the unit vector used to represent the distal to proximal axis, then the unit vector is found. Visual 3D defines the medial lateral axis of the segment by taking the cross product of the two unit vectors that were just defined.